Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for Fierce to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. I remember being told a story as a kid. It was a very spooky story. I think that my older sister told it to me. I don't remember. I just remember that it was about a hitchhiker. It was very scary. And there was a period of time where anytime we would be in the car driving at night, I would be like looking at the window so scared that as we're turning a curve, the headlights would illuminate a hitchhiker that was trying to kill us so yeah <laughs> i'm nervous hopefully this isn't nearly as bad as that story but after the first episode i am not too hopeful i think it's gonna be worse thank you guys for joining i really hope you enjoy and let's jump into the game episode two norwood hitchhike okay june 16th so we're in the summer the other one was in the summer too i think this happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just a little bit. Help who, the internet or help the person? I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. Oh god, I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. Mm-hmm. I was a little over 12 hour, oh, it was a little over a 12 hour drive. Okay. And we're in the car. Okay, okay. Why are we stopping? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. What the hell are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we stopped? Did the car break down? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Aiden William? Discord. We got ticks, so I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know. Finally gonna take Milo on a walk. Alright. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the state board to saw this really cool skate park. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your plane. Okay, dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the, the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Can I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden, that internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? <laughs> Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, dad. Can I call dad? Leaving now, drive safe. Okay. So that was at 547. Oh, oh, what did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, I opened the trunk. 
have luggage. Do any of these open? Why did I do that? What did I do? And why did I do it? I'm gonna walk around with the skateboard as a weapon. I feel good about this. What am I doing? Oh, this is a dead end. I can't even go any further. Oh. Oh, the tall grass is freaking me out. Oh god. Hayden, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's 8.59, so I've been driving for like three hours. Still a long way to go. Wait, you know what I should have tried? I should have tried to open the the front of the car. Right, I open the... I couldn't drive leaving my stuff behind. <laughs> Does that not count as being in the car? I drive the car the entire time. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I never considered to press W. That did. Why does everything look red? Driving in the middle of the road. I do not care. I feel so silly. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's a traffic cone. Okay. Oh, okay. Stop. Where did you reach? Still about six hours from the city. Got stuck in a jam. I'm surprised that I have service out here. No! 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 Near halfway through the drive I realized I was low on gas. Way. 
just gonna keep going. Let me try to coast. Maybe I can get home as long as I, <laughs> as long as it's downhill, we'll be fine. This is gonna be good. It's about to break down. Told you to take that flight. Yeah, I wish I would have. I'm thinking the same damn thing. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dad, I just wrecked the car. Come get me, please. Even in a game like this, I can't drive. What is going on? Wait. Oh, I can't turn around. I swear I thought I just saw someone in the rearview mirror. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What do we have here? Gas station? Isn't this the exact same plotline of- <gasps> <coughs> That's just a worker. <laughs> of Chainsaw Massacre! Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Aren't they trying to get gas or something in a small town? And we all know how that ended. <laughs> oh man, that is too good. Okay. I was too low on cash for that, wasn't feeling it. You have enough for gas, right? It's taking everything in me not to scream at this guy. I just want gas, please. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed? Consuming these items Well, that one's the cheapest. I just need the thing that. So there's probably a reason these are so cheap, but I'm gonna go for it. some gas. Can I get $10 on pump two? That is not gonna get us home. Uh, dot dot dot? What are we doing here? You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. It's not clean. Okay. I'm just mostly concerned about the tent and one more thing if you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride do not stop who is she some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered regardless she's out for blood whatever you do never ever under any circumstance pick <coughs> i can't even read it pick up a hitchhiker those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. And now mom's texting me. Holly, mom, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. 
I can only buy $10 in gas, mom. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Oh, God. Let me go see if they have any dog food. That'll be five dollars. Hey. Wait, so this costed five and the gas was ten. Why did I not get fifteen in gas? Uh <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is funny. the restroom okay here we go you guys under no sir oh my god I'm rejecting the car I'm looking for the gas meter wait I have to pump the gas oh my goodness what is happening Okay, I'm just gonna reverse. I can't really see. Hopefully I don't crash. <laughs> I don't want the place to blow up. All right. <laughs> did I get, <laughs> I can't. Which tank did I get gas at? Now, why would I get, okay. I really almost left without the gas. That would have been awful. I mean, hopefully that's good. Okay. Filled the tank and I was off to the road. Oh, you filled the tank? I don't think you did. Under no circumstance do I stop for a hitchhiker. I don't care if it looks like a child. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them look like you and me. Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station. <laughs> you don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right? It might be. You have to stop the car before you read the text messages. Oh my goodness. Come on. All right. I will stop the car from now on. <gasps> what just happened? Turn him back on. No, 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 please no, please no. Behind the car though, so safety in numbers. Oh my god, this hunk of junk piece of shit car. Can't see. Where'd that car go? It's gone. What just happened?
I don't know what to do. Um, why am I not commenting on the fact that the oh, okay, the lights back on. What? Okay, all things considered, I feel like it's going pretty well. I'm alive and haven't been jump scared. Uh, where'd the road go? There's no road. What are we doing? This doesn't seem right. And the lights are out. And the lights are out. Is this just a game of me driving home the whole time? Oh, why does that keep happening? There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way I thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. Okay, well. It did say get out. I don't know. I think it wants me to get out. Just try to ram them one more time. Nope. Okay. Moving them with my feet? Oh god, no, 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 no. Get me in the car. Get me in the car right now. Car's not moving. Car's not moving. You guys? There it goes. No, 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 no. Please, I'm actually begging. I will do anything. Is that smoke? That is smoke. Like I know how to fix that. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk said, but I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Just the slightest. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. And now I'm the stranger. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. It's going to take a long time. 10.23 p.m. Okay, so it was 8 something previously, right? Been waiting for multiple hours. I saw a car nearing. From which direction? Oh, over there. 
Please, please, sir, ma'am, anyone. You're evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Because they were warned by the gas station person. And 43 p.m. What are we doing here? Has the car just overheated? Is that what's going on? Oh wait, get out, get out. I saw a car. Let me in! <laughs> oh, he's stopping. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi, thank you. You're so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Hop in. Did you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Oh my god, imagine he leaves. Only had two hands. I think this is all I can take, I bet. I take more? Maybe I can grab the dog food? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Am I getting greedy here? Please don't leave. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Fine, this is fine, it's fine. Can't turn the radio on. We're not talking either. So, you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Oh my god, I don't know. I was driving home, I live really close from here. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I shouldn't have lied. It's okay, I wouldn't trust me either. What? My name's Jason. It's nice to meet you, Jason. I'm not telling you my name. Because I don't trust you. That was a really weird thing to say, Jason. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. It's an old car. That's it? I think so. I don't know what happened to it. Would a car start smoking because of a battery? I thought it overheated. What do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. 
Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let me see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and don't and you don't be bothered. What does that mean? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, yeah, I don't. Oh God. How long? How long? 12.08, so about an hour passed, right? After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Oh, I think I need to click. My bad. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. <laughs> Gal need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? $40 for single. What about couple? So I just told him I'm alone. Room number nine over there. I mean, we'll take care of it next thing in the morning. Good, I'll let Tommy, Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay, room nine. Where's all my belongings? Can't carry anything. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, maybe? Right here? Yep. Ollie? Hey, where are you at? No service. Still no service? Your dad's calling me. Ollie, and then... Can't even get dad's messages. Oh, there we go. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean reroute? Dad, I might have to stay by a hotel- a motel tonight zero service it was nice what the hell except there's a smell a type of musky smell you get from old houses and there's no mattress Room service. Oh my god. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing? Cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> Tommy, I almost killed you. I have no words for what just took place creeping in the bathroom there's gotta be some type of service here I'm getting the skateboard and i'm getting this bag because if i need to i can throw the skateboard at someone aka tommy Maybe if I move around, I can find some service. Is 
Could you leave? I had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee 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 hee. But you have a good night. Physically not possible after seeing your face, Tommy. I'm gonna have nightmares. Do you see that grin? God. <sighs> yeah, so. <laughs> Can I use someone's phone, please? Right over here, room number nine it is. No, I wanna use the phone. Please and thank you. Okay, he's going to get my car. What happens if his tow truck breaks down while he's trying to pick up my car? I love how it just lets you throw everything. I wish I would have paid for more. Wait, wait, wait a dang second. What's the cheapest thing? Chocolate, bye. Yep, yes please. Is there a way to see how much money you have in total? Maybe I should just buy everything available so that I can run as fast as I need to. Oh, I left the door open. everything what do you mean the landline isn't working service this is not good nothing whoa 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 what is that what is that the heck Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a phone. No. Is that a coffee machine? Didn't want it. <gasps> Sorry. I was too low on cash for that. I've been spending money like crazy though. Free water. You have a great night's sleep. No, can I use the phone? What does that say? Not approved for occupancy. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Well, there's a few of us here who apparently did not get the memo. Okay. Wanna bed?
What the heck is happening? Oh my god! <coughs> Call it foresight, but there was something off about that place. Someone just tried to open the door. A hot cup of coffee could help out that to myself. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. And the water was just running. What is going on? Who was that? Mommy left in the tow truck, supposedly. Help you stay awake. just been drugged? Oh, I'm scared to even... Yeah, there's no way. Everything's backwards, everything's inverted. Oh my god! They just drugged her. Three eighteen AM. I was sedated. Didn't feel safe going out. There's someone. <coughs> I can't even talk. There's someone in the room. Oh God. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. 
I hate my job. It would have been as simple as someone moving it. That does not mean it wasn't there. It was a small machine. It could be moved. Yep, no machine. Where did Joe go? Go back to the room. I swear to God it was right there. I said go back now. Wait, I saw someone over there. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Offering medication? Really? I'm telling you, there's someone in the room. You know what? I don't think that this person is Tommy. Just some medication right there. Am I... Requires water? I didn't need it. I'm not taking it? Can I just go to bed? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I still can't read the messages. What do you mean? Is that actually forcing me to take this medication? telling you someone's in the bathroom I know it I know it I know it okay told you to take a flight oh Holly it's gonna be late when you reach back hope you're feeling all right I'll be all right dad Person at my door? I'm not opening the door. seem to be going away. They're not leaving! How can I do nothing if they're just staying there the entire time? just continually saying hello and I'm not going in that bathroom because I I know someone's there hello hello please open the door I need help what do you want I need your help please 
please open the door. <gasps> do I open the door or do I do nothing? You guys. Do I open the door or do I do nothing? I feel like this person's gonna kill me. If I open the door... Okay, let me wait the pros and cons. I open the door, I can die. I do nothing. I survive, but maybe I failed some, some type of test. I just keep thinking about the car when I no one would stop for me. And now I'm not helping this guy in his time of need. But I also don't trust anything that's happening here, so... I'm gonna do nothing. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm gonna call the cop. Brady? <gasps> he was gonna break the door. I am so pissed. I have to redo this entire section. <sighs> okay. I was sedated. The fact that I know that he's in the closet. What do I do? Oh god. Is it Joe from front desk? Open the door. Yep, I'm opening the door. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I specifically tell you to make to not wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down. Are you No, I'm not messing with you. He's in the closet and he already killed me. 
Okay, I'm just gonna speed run this. Come on. Now, what I want you guys to pay attention to... I swear, last time, I saw someone, like, right here, walking. And I thought it was Joe, but it wasn't Joe, because Joe is right there. just saw him come out of and there's no coffee machine where is it it's fucking gone I swear it was right there I said go back now his demeanor completely changed did you not hear me I said go back to the room and don't get out check the table by the TV is he trying to help me? You know how there's a mattress over here? Oh, I don't know. So he's not in the room anymore. And now the closet is open. Okay. Yeah, we gotta take the pills. How long is this one? I'm so, so glad it let me start over at the motel though. I was so upset. I thought I was gonna have to start from the car. Could you imagine just completely wipes you if you get caught? I only made noise because I didn't think he was coming in the room and then it was a lot. I don't know what to do. Do I... Get up? Not really sure. Wait, was that a camera? How in the world did I not notice that this was the same person that came out of my room? Yeah, I'm not going out. Trust me. Who is it? What do you want? I need your help, please. Open the door. Yeah, no, not happening. Please leave. Please go away. I'm gonna call the cop. Pretty late. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tell me you reported it. 
Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Yeah, that would traumatize you for sure. So am I to understand that this person didn't report anything? There was a sign on the window that said not suitable for occupancy. <laughs> I think that whatever's the damage is done pretty much. I'm very disturbed by a couple of the details in this story. I mean, I guess I beat it, so there's that. That one was scary. That one was very spooky. The environment felt very intense. A lot of suspense. That one was very overwhelming. The part that I feel like is pretty creepy, I mean, all of it was creepy, don't get me wrong, but the weird noise part, it's kind of disturbing me because Holly gets sedated comes to and the man goes in the closet and then he knocks on the door joe knocks on the door saying that there was weird noises and the guy was like walking from the bed i noticed it better when i restarted i, I paid attention to how he walked away he was walking from the bed to the closet that's a very disturbing story. I can't believe that these are real things that have happened to people. Even though these stories are very scary and awful, I'm glad that these people survived though. I guess that would be the only positive thing that comes out of these situations. And now that they're in a place to share the story, I don't know though, it's just, this is a lot. So I guess the next one in the lineup is episode three. I can tell they're getting a little worse and worse. So I usually, when I play something scary, I feel like a sense of accomplishment. It gives me more confidence to play whatever's next. I feel like that's, we're working it in the opposite direction. I am getting less and less confident per episode. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you for the next one. Bye guys.